get to the server hub. All right, baby, that's all we gotta do. Just, just try and keep ourselves psyched up. Okay, that's not much farther than the lobby, and uh, yeah, you go over there. And we've been here before, so you know eh, we got this. This is this is no problem. This actually seems a bit more uh, serious. Um, like this time, we're on the actual, you know, offensive. Uh, I don't think there's any vents in here. I mean, I don't think there's any ceiling vents in here. I know there's that vent over there, but... Oh no, there's one in front of that door, right? Oh god, this sucks. Just trying to be all psyched up, I... I got some tea. And, uh... And with the tea, there's, um... There's this, uh... This wasn't open before, right? Wasn't this locked? What the? Okay, that was just that was more like louder in my headphones than anything else. But what the fuck? Locate and activate the fire suppression system. Okay, is that just like your fancy space word for fire extinguisher? Or... Oh shit. Uh, are you coming from that room? Yes, you are. Walking out like the fucking Terminator. Get in there. Okay, I don't think they come in here. I know a xenomorph can pull you out of a vent. But I don't know if a synthetic can. Man. I mean... Uh, what was I talking about? Oh <laughs> yeah. There's this brand of orange juice that I buy, and I don't know why I can't remember the name. I think it starts with an S. And it's just not. I know, I know the brand by the, the shape of the bottle or the shape of the jug or whatever. I don't really pay attention to what it's called. But uh, I buy their orange juice, and also, what the is that him dying? Okay. Just look like him, kind of just crotch thrusting on the floor. Anyways, I, I buy uh, I buy the orange juice and the lemonade, and I saw that they had um, a mango flavored lemonade, and I've never had mango flavored lemonade, but I do like uh, mango flavored V8 Splash. So I thought I'd try this lemonade, and you know what? It was pretty good. I liked it. But what I do usually with with my lemonade when it starts getting like really low and there's not really like enough for a full glass. I just kind of add like, you know, little little dashes of the lemonade to my tea to like give kind of like a lemony flavored tea. So I did that with the lemon mangoes. Pretty good tasting tea. Man, this looks fucking ooh. Ah, scrap. This looks real bad. What am I looking for? Some weird fucking smoke. Okay, that's not helping. Is this hurting me? Am I getting hurt? Oh, don't you fucking stand under that vent. Back in here. This? Use button. Alright. I'm surprised the... The water still works. Is this doing anything? The way this is spraying out doesn't really seem like it would put out any of the fires that were just currently raging on in here, but uh, I'll take it. Ooh, that would have been bad if that caught on fucking fire. Alright, no big deal. It's fucking weird fucking smoke, man. Okay, that's not nothing. Is that all this room is? Like, fucking come in here for an explosion and then, like, a wacky fucking smoke gif? Jif? However you fucking say it. I always want to say gif, but I think it's jif. 
Fuck that word, man. This isn't really doing me any favors coming in this. Coming into this room. To make one of those. But. Nah. <laughs> this shit's weird. It's like some fucking hologram, some sort of magic act. Wait, what's wrong with this station? It's always been falling apart, but because of the decommission, a lot of the systems have been shut down. Add to the fact that everyone's too busy trying to stay alive to maintain anything, and you end up with goddamn chaos. Yeah, well, I guess that explains it, but you also trying to, you know, blow up the station probably didn't fucking help matters very much. Station feels like a graveyard, huh? It is a graveyard, pal. What are you talking about? Feels like. Although technically there should be fucking bodies like all over the place. I don't know if these guys are bad. They don't look bad. Is that above me? I'm pretty sure if he was bad, he would have done something. Because I don't think they just keep respawning enemies in here. These could be, uh... These could be nice guys. Like that group we met, uh, earlier. Uh, yes. Oh, fuck yeah, I'm the lady. Okay. That made me feel good. We helped some regular folks. Hey. I don't think that was here before. I wouldn't have missed that. I don't think this was here either. By this, I mean this ultra relaxed corpse. And this fucking glue. Well, I guess I can make another one of these and just have one. At least have one of everything. Okie dokie. <sighs> well, I heard some coughing. Another friendly person. Hey, even though you look like the first person who tried to murder me. Oh no, I don't think you guys have the same face. You got kind of like a weird face. You got like this weird half smirk going on. That was like fucking Quasimodo from Disney expression you had going on there. Come on, man, I upgraded this thing. One of these episodes, I'm just going to run around the whole station and just unlock everything that I haven't been able to unlock. But I'm probably going to wait till I get to the server hub. Yeah, I know. Dude, it's not like I fucking forgot. Game. Just, I'm getting there. Uh, I'm going to wait till I have more tools and shit, and then I'm going to take care of all this. How are we going to seal it in? You have fucking space pirates? I mean, that makes things a lot more interesting. I mean, I guess, yeah, being out at sea, ships, you know, it's just like uh, the oceans of, of way back when. 
Restore power. Okie dokie then. That's where I gotta go though, right? Anyway, so yeah, I guess you would have pirates in, in, uh, in fucking space. But that just sounds so cool and... Cowboy Bebop-ish. I like a space pirate game. Well, I guess there's Elite Dangerous, but... I get kind of bored with that game. That's one of those games where you gotta find something on your own to do. Like, find your own fun within the game or something like Minecraft or something like that. And it's like, it's really hard for me to... to do that. Okie dokie, now I feel 100% better. I really don't like that vent. I don't like this whole let's put vents in front of doors. Because it's like you have no choice but to fuck yourself. That's not nice. Okay. I do know that I missed something in here. I think when you're in here the first time there's a blueprint. And I forget what it's for, but I totally fucking missed that because I was probably rambling on about whatever bullshit it is I fucking ramble on about. And, uh, and I missed that. But I guess once you miss one, the game's like, fuck you, even though you can totally fucking come back to the original area. It's just gone forever. So, I, I don't know. Hey. Don't make noise. Don't run. Get to the Marshall Bureau. Uh, sweet. Zero four eight two zero four eight two. Am I gonna remember that shit? Okay, well that guy's still dead, and I don't think there's anything else in here. Zero four eight two. Like, will that end up in my uh, like in my notes or you know whatever? It's not something I I found. It was just it was said to me. Like, does that count as a note? I keep meaning to look back into those, um... Into the notes, because sometimes, uh, if you... If you access a PC or whatever and read the files or whatever, they get added to your archive or what have you. Um... So you can read them later, so you don't have to stand in front of the PC and try and read them really fast, you know, if, if you don't want to. Usually I do read them in front of the PC because most of the time it's safe. It's safe to do a little bit of light reading, but sometimes it hasn't been. So I've skipped some stuff and I keep meaning to go back and, uh, and read them. It's just, uh, I keep feeling like I want to move forward, make some progress. But uh, I'll read whatever we got here. This is the server hub reception. I can't read what the thing says. Pointless requests? These people have been told Sebastopol's due for the scrap heap, right? I just got a message from Ellison and Seeks and Accounts. Can we fix the hand dryer in the restroom? Can we hell? Next time one of these bullshit requests comes through, send them right back. We're about to strip this place out, not patch it up. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, people want shit. Hardware problems. Title not receiving messages. Details. Expecting an order from off station that should have arrived by now. I usually get several a week, but there's nothing. Can someone check my comms unit? Can't afford to lose the business. Uh, equipment seems to be functioning. Flag up with Seeks and comms. See if anything, see if something slipped through Apollo's net. Fucking Apollo's probably just blocking those messages. No more sexting for you, pal. Oh, an uncertain future. Seekson has cut its losses and is set to abandon Sebastopol. 
This is yet another sign of the retrenchment that is rife throughout the sector. Some days it is felt as if corporate pride was the only thing keeping this troubled station in orbit above KG-348. Leaving aboard this station today, it's abundantly clear that Seekson has gambled wildly with both its own investment and that of banking corps such as Geofund Investor. The ill-judged rush into space colonization, its hubris, and its overexpansion have cost our second-tier corporations dearly. Wayland yutani with its extensive financial and technological firepower, can weather these storms while its lesser rivals fall away. Even the company, however, must hear alarm bells ringing as it looks towards these fading orbital outposts. Wayland yutanis ongoing investment in terraforming research technology looks increasingly shrewd as it watches each of these distant lights blink out. <sighs> Door control, I guess that's what I want. That seems like a tall order. Seal off the stairwell. Okay. Okay, the fucking game crashed on me. So I gotta do this again. I didn't really get very far. I kinda went up some stairs and then, I don't know, something happened. And uh, fucking PS4 will never tell you exactly what happened. Just kind of throws out some numbers at you. Like, error 349BZ11, whatever fucking happened. And you're like, oh, shit. Fucking code blue. And then, I don't know. I guess you're supposed to look it up for yourself. But, uh, you yeah, know, whatever. So, let's just do that again. I came down here. I don't know if that droid's good or bad. I don't think the droids are... Are bad no, droids or whatever synthetics. Bonding agent bullshit. Last time that was flamethrower fuel. Blasting cap. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that. That fucking robot didn't do shit to me last time. So I'm guessing they're okay. I don't know what I don't know what triggers the synthetics to be assholes or not, but. Uh, let's get our map. I can hear those fucking Xeno violin sounds. So, I mean, they're gonna be attacked by the alien or, uh, you know, a bunch of fucking spiders. They always play those weird string instruments when you got fucking spiders. Yeah, see, these guys are cool. No, I'm not lost. What would happen if I said yes? When their eyes are pink, that means they're pissed. And when their eyes are just white, they're they're kind of okay. Okay, I came in here, and then there was this. Security shutters. To the camp group, we can't keep up a full guard 24-7, but with the volunteer lookouts and the Spire's existing security systems, we can keep it watertight. From this point onward, we don't raise the security shutters for anyone. And all supply runs have to go through me. We can get through this, guys. Thompson. Mm -mm. Don't think so. The camp. Don't know how much longer I can take this. It's cramped and dirty, and the trash is starting to rot. I don't even know if we're really safe here. Carter and Thompson came back from their recons last week with a couple of guns, and I'm starting to see a different side to some of the people here. Maybe that woman, Winters, was right. They're turning into animals. Okie dokie. I think these things to my left make that weird hissy noise that kind of freaks me out. Collect sensor. It's too bad. All the stuff gets uh, replaced. Mm-hmm, that's nice. 
Ooh, they left the vents open. Yeah, you're fucked. That's... And, uh, what was like bloody footprints leading out? Okay, well, I looked at that body, and then the game crashed, so now I don't know what happens now. Scrap. But yeah, you gotta seal off those vents, man. I've been having, like, a real big fucking problem with ants. This always happens in the summer. In the winter, it's like they don't even exist, but... I kind of want to look at that PC, but I don't want to get fucked. Okay. Oh shit, he's right on fucking top of me. Oh shit. That's not fucking smart. Oh shit. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Fuck you, you piece of fucking shit with your fucking magic act okay you go fuck off you go fuck off and do whatever the fuck it is you do I just want to look at this come on oh no 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 okay the fucking thing the little fucking fish hook he usually comes back right away like you burn him and then you, you fucking Besides, like, I'm gonna take another stab at it. I don't fucking like this. No, he's moving real fast. He's fucking coming back. God damn it. <sighs> fucking more of this fucking shit. Fuck you, monster. <laughs> I've got... I've gone from, like, kind of respecting it to just, like, really just fucking getting mad. It's the fucking ants, dude. Like, the first fucking day, there's ants on my windowsill. And it's just like, what are you doing here? I mean, they must have crawled into the window or whatever, right? So, I kill them. I take care of it. I think it's not a big deal. It's only a few of them, you know, maybe, like, 30, 30 ants or something like that. Just, just little tiny little red ants. Not a big deal. And then, uh... And another day goes by. I'm, I, I'm, I have a recliner, and I'm just sitting, you know, fucking fall asleep in the, fall asleep in the recliner, and I, I wake up, and there's ants all over my fucking floor, and it's like I'm sitting on this throne of ants, and I was like, what the fuck? So I gotta take care of that shit. And it was like that was kind of a bitch, dude. That happened like in the middle of the night. I fucking take care of it, and then the next day I'm sleeping in my bed, and fucking ants all over my fucking pillows. It's like this is, the, you know. Fucking waking up covered in ants again and just fucking pests. Then, like a, a day or so later, uh, if you if you didn't know, like I uh, the beginning of this video where I said uh, it crashed after the game crashed, um, I just kind of stopped playing, and then it like a, I don't know, I guess that was like a day ago. So I started up again, so there's, there was like a weird in-between time of me not fucking playing. Um, but in that day, uh, I ended up having uh, more fucking ants. You know, I'm, I'm dealing with these with these little fuckers. And uh, in, my, in my closet, right, uh, it's got like sliding doors, like a lot of closets. And then uh, from, I don't know, I guess the seam where the, the little closet rail bit you know that the door actually slides on i see like a whole fucking trail of these things fucking coming down from there and it's like you gotta be fucking joking me man you know before i was they got through the window okay whatever and then when they're on my bed there's like a tiny they're coming in from like the corner of the wall like from under i don't know where the tile meets the wall but now fucking coming in from you know essentially the ceiling <sighs> and that fucking sucked man I mean, they're like everywhere, all over, like, oh, they're all over all my clothes. So I was like, oh, shit, I just threw all my clothes in the bathtub. 
and then like turn the shower on like i guess i'll fucking drown them and let that fucking happen i gotta take out all the you know it's all the shit i have in my uh in my closet different boxes stuff like that and it's like well you know they're all over the boxes they're in the boxes and i'm just gonna get this shit real fast okay a warning yep sells okay i'll read that other shit later because i'm not hanging out under that vent these would be the cells right because there's one of these that would uh didn't open Okay, get it. I don't need it. I didn't even hear him drop down. I mean, we got flamethrower fuel. I'm a little bit more confident before. Before the early, the early game, the early game, you're kind of fucked. There were, I mean, I know you get the Molotovs. But, I, you know, we've all seen that the Molotovs have not really helped me out because you got to select them and you got to, like, you know, raise your arm and throw it. And that's not as as immediate as a flamethrower. Are you gone? Like, was that, did you just bark and fuck off or... Okay, yeah, he's he's out of here. Anyway, so this fucking ads, dude. And it was just like, I gotta open up every box, then take all the contents out of the boxes. You know, all my fucking clothes, everything. I just take everything out of the closet. Such a bitch. I mean, like, it was, seriously, it just took hours. And that was kind of like... I mean, like, if this happens... Uh, you know, when you, oh, well, like, when you gotta go to work or some shit, I mean, it's like, what can you do? It's like, you know, if you gotta leave, like, in, you know, 10 minutes, it's just like, well, I have no choice but to leave the situation as it is and let it get more fucked. 